Good morning. All right, another video. Uh, Sunday, so I'm not even sure what I'm doing today. Probably going to do some bits and pieces on the bike. Um, maybe finish up this manifold, weld up the bung in the bottom of the sump there, figure some other stuff out. But uh, first, I need to just give the shop a quick clean up. Uh, oh, I just finished that last night and I didn't clean anything up. I just kind of pushed it aside and put it all in a lovely pile over here. So I'll clean that up and then we'll get into it. very slowly but sure enough so I'm going to take this LED plate off flap disc the back of this fitting here all the way down and just weld it on um, I'm going to take off this cover again should still be fairly manageable yeah take this cover off replace the stator and the pickup as I showed uh, pretty sure in another video this is bound to fail in the future this is what came with the bike, so instead of buying a new stator, I've just kind of replaced this dodgy line here with some more dodgy line. And we've got pins and these don't quite seat properly anymore and the battery's not charging to its fullest. And Anyway, pull this part, get that out of there, and do it again. Sorry, I didn't film it, just been back and forth all day today. Um, got the section wrapped up, V band kind of loosely snug on there. Um, Rewrap that section. Check some reflective heat tape on the inside of this, a sleeve on it, and probably, yeah, I don't know what else I can do, just because that runs pretty close to the exhaust. So, we got this all bolted back together, new stator, new mag, uh, got this cover back on which has been off for heck knows how long, like actually so long. It looks good now that that's back on, it kind of covers it, bit of a cleaner look. Got the wires run, and go up, a couple of zip ties to hold that in place. Um, yeah, got that uh, bolted back on, no leaks, which is good. Um, yeah, time to put the exhaust back on, turbo back on. This off before I forget. I need to run a couple of beads because knowing my luck, that's what's going to pop off when I get into boost. So I chuck some beads on this bad boy. Um, yeah, yeah, progressing quite well. So I'll get back into it. Maybe a time lapse or two if I can be bothered. And yeah.
How good is that? Seems like it all bolts in. Obviously, missing a turbo, but clearance wise, quite good. Had to tuck it, bring it pretty close to that starter. But now that it's wrapped, it should keep the heat out of that. Uh, scoot around here. Go right up the ice end. If you have a look in here, you can see the old V band. You can actually install the whole thing all as one, which is good. Just leave the V band loose. Now um, that's perfect. Clears the shock under here, clears everything under here. Need to put the mounting bolt in there. Underneath it clears. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that. So the next step, you can see it running through there. Next step is to put this hose back on, and it's always been tight. Uh, should be able to get it back on hopefully and that's it done exhaust is on hopefully we don't get any leaks because that would be a royal pain in the ass and we'll find that out soon enough so yeah on to the next thing look at that yeah first thing to call the pipe is on we got some um reflective dei heat shielding on there just because the exhaust is fairly close uh, yeah, it comes pretty close, so just wrap that. Obviously, exhaust is wrapped. Um, gonna chuck the turbo on next. Been a uh, pretty productive afternoon. Got a lot done on the bike. She's basically ready for um, like a few wires and some fresh fuel. So, man, I say so a lot. Anyway, turbo's back on. All the intercooler piping's back on, everything is clamped down, all the oil lines are tightened, uh, the drain's tightened, the exhaust is all on, it's all tight. Um, I've got it off the stand because I was jumping on it to see if anything's going to hit. Everything seems good. Um, new stator, new pickup, some nice new wiring for that. Everything else is pretty much tied off. Uh, I'm going to tidy up this wiring here before, actually I'll probably just see how this wiring goes for now. Um, plug in the IAC, or IAT, sorry, intake air temperature. Finish the wiring for these coil packs, which is four wires, uh, or a little bit more wiring because I'm running it off that relay. So a little bit of wiring, some fresh fuel, I need to probably don't actually need to um, oh actually yeah I got a wire in these wires here for the injectors and the timing that's uh, almost it I need to trim the fairings uh, should just chill in over there I need to trim the fairings to fit but for, for, for the first ride I'll ride it without the fairings just to keep the airflow and everything going um, easy to check the bike for leaks or anything like that and uh, yeah guys like no shit, she's basically ready for startup. Like two, three more hours work, and we're good to go. Uh, catch can and everything's all good now. I got the hose that ran down next to the exhaust on, which is a, a nightmare to get on there. It's so tight. Um, hopefully, I don't have any issues with that getting too hot. Um, I've had this stuff bare running over. Or running very close to exhaust and stuff before never had any issue and now it's all it's like triple wrapped and different stuff so should be right um man off oven and everything is on intake manifolds done all the fuel systems all secure and in place relays and everything is done for that exciting times one thing i do need to finish oh she's got a bit of weight to it now though i tell you that much um the foot on the um, the stand. I've got a welder back on. Uh, I was going to run two inch lowering um, dog bones, and it set the bike a little bit too low for my liking. So I'm going to grab some one inch um, dog bones. Um, and I think with the one inch, if I just weld the foot back on as it was, it should be sweet. But you know, she's got a bit of a lean to her now without it. So. Yeah, I'll we'll get that back in. Chuck some oil in it. And next video for the bike should be some, uh, at least it's starting, running again. 
So, hands open. Um, yeah, like, if you like the video, chuck us a like. Subscribe if you want to see more of the bike and some of the other cars that are usually kind of floating around in here aren't in here today. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. It's, uh, it's appreciated. And as usual, if you got any comments or anything like that, any uh, suggestions, chuck them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you. So yeah, cheers.